Now, Sheikha Clemens is the mother of Dominique Battle, one of the three little girls who was uh, killed, who drowned uh, in the pond in St. Pete after being pursued uh, by the sheriff's office. And I'm going to let her tell her story in her own words. Yes, Sheikha. On March the 31st, 2016, my three girls, life was stolen from me. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Department and the St. Petersburg Department decided upon themselves mm -hmm. because of the color of their skin to fall behind them for no reason whatsoever mm. and stay in the police report. Mm. And they pushed them three girls into that pond. Tell it. And they stood there and they watched them and they listened to them and they screamed for their lives. Murderers. And they let my babies drown. Yes, they did. And they stood there and they said, we hear them screaming, but they didn't help them. And then they have the audacity to show up my job at 11 o'clock in the morning. 10 to 15 police officers questioning me, asking me, where my kids at? What clothes do they have on? Where they at right now? What school do they go to? What they're attending? To describe them. Mm -hmm. And then I start to answer these questions. I'm thinking to myself, why y'all asking me questions like this? Why are y'all here? And the police officer comes to me and he says, describe Dominique. So I do. I tell her about the clothes that she wore and the way that she had her hair and the tattoo of my name on her thigh and the tattoo of my son's name on his arm. Uh, uh, uh. And he look at me just like I'm looking at each one of y'all. And she says, she's dead and no remorse mm -hmm. at all. They didn't care at all. And as I'm trying to get at them and fight them, it wasn't why. I'm left with the questions. And they don't want to give me no answer. But over and over and over, the only words out their mouth are, we did not follow them. We did not trace them. But your old Dutch cam show y'all doing miles up to 93 miles per hour. So you tell me what y'all was doing then. Cause ain't no way in hell y'all cannot be chasing them. Tell and then y'all push them in that pond and y'all allow them to drown. And y'all come to me. And y'all want to leave me a bad mother. Yeah. Someone who gets out her bed at 5 o'clock every morning. Right. And get off work at 6 p.m. Yeah. Right. I walk to a bus stop. Eight blocks from my house. Yeah. Take my children with me to daycare. Go to work on these white people's jobs, slaving by behind them for 9.25 an hour. Yep. Not right. And they have the audacity to question me and slander my name and the girls' names. And then they want to get out there and ask, what were these girls doing hanging out together? You dumbass, they was friends. What do you think they were doing? Really? They've been friends for two years, hanging around each other doing each other hair, shopping together. But I'm here to pick up the pieces. Up and you know what they're going to tell me? That they would have been better off if they had another mother. Mm -hmm. What black like mother do you know? Gets up and take her children to work with her and drop them off at daycare and ride the city bus or walk halfway across the town. Yeah. Pay her own bills. What mother do you know that does that? And it's still labeled a bad mother. So I'm going to get out here and I'm going to get justice. Because Bob Gillitero, what you did in the dark has come to the light. And that ass of yours, I'm coming for. Whether it be day, evening, or night. A huru. Touch one. Touch out. Touch one. Arrest the police! Arrest the police! Indict the police! Indict the police! Control 
up the police. Back, Back up, up the police. Who wrote? Who wrote? Who wrote? Who wrote? Who wrote? Touch one. Touch one. Who wrote? My name is Kalambai, and I'm from Ferguson, Missouri. We're going to start marching. They don't want you to hear my message because I am here to say. I've been a victim of poverty.